Over and above the loss of our son, the military have caused us to suffer a cruel, emotional, physical, and financial toll. This report highlights and reinforces the need for a complete revamp of the military justice system. Based on what we have heard today, this becomes even more urgent. When a soldier dies a non-combat death in Canada, the family deserves to know the truth. Boards of inquiry and National Investigation Service investigations are inherently biased and families cannot rely upon or trust the outcomes. This report also demonstrates that these investigations are led by incompetent persons and are mired with procedural deficiencies, which the military refuse to acknowledge or correct. We know of other parents who are similarly dissatisfied. The current process needs to be replaced with arm's length civilian coroner and civilian policing functions. This means the relinquishment of NIS jurisdiction for non-combat sudden death investigations to the civilian police. Only then could interested parties particularly military families, have confidence in the integrity and impartiality of their findings. We accept in whole the findings of the Military Police Complaints Commission. However, we deplore the condescending and arrogant position taken by the government in their notice of action, which rejects over 80% of the SAGE recommendations made by the Commission. We invite you, Mr. Kenny, as Minister of Defence, to embrace this opportunity for change. You have the authority to direct immediate redress of these systemic failures. You have the power to restore confidence in our military justice system. You, not the military, have the power to implement changes that will ensure openness, transparency and compassion. We sincerely hope that this is not the end of our journey but rather the beginning of a fitting legacy for Stu. Minister, the ball is in your court.